Are you all aware of the huge news that's been sweeping the nation over the last couple weeks and even years that is unbelievable and very, very frustrating? And honestly, I didn't care until recently. Do you know who Jada Pinkett Smith is? You definitely do. It's Will Smith's wife or whatever. You know who Will Smith is. And then you got the, the slap, the big, keep my wife's name out your fucking mouth. Yeah! It's been in the news for a very long time. For some reason, Jada Pinkett Smith won't get out of the fucking news and will not leave us all alone. And her hegemony of being a massive bitch. In my opinion, this just seems cut and dry and kind of rude. Kind of rude. She doesn't seem like that nice of a person. And we'll talk about that in this video. I want to know what you guys think. The infamous Oscar slap last year was at the forefront of everyone's minds for about 15 minutes. And by everyone, I mean people who are dumb. <laughs> by the way, if you don't give a shit about this, you might care about sour candy. Do you like candy? I have a candy brand. Got a new flavor. It's called Sunshine Slap. It's a mixture of orange, pineapple, strawberry. Go to sour.gg limited time only limited time only it won't be available for very long anyways the oscar slap last year was was absolutely crazy and it brought this thing to the forefront of the public that is the thing that is the relationship of will smith and jada pinky smith the famous new metal singer did you guys know she had a rock band a new metal rock band well that's not all you're gonna find out about her today after the incident it seemed like will smith's career took a turn for the worse it seemed like it was doomed he was outcast no longer allowed to go back to the fucking oscars or whatever the show is called the grammys i don't care at all he was defending someone that he it seems like that he cares about and someone that he thinks cares about him he was defending her honor chris rock made a joke by the way chris rock i think is pretty funny he made a joke called her gi jane she got real upset and or looked upset and will got extremely upset walked up there boom slap right in the face slap the shit right off his damn face this was like kind of sensitive because jada pinkett smith has alopecia i really don't understand alopecia it's an autoimmune disease and i've seen people who have it and i know some people who have it where their eyebrows go and they're like i have a, a piece here that's come back where there was just a hole in my beard for, for years. She seems to just always have hair or have her head shaped. Chris Rock called her G.I. Jane. That made everybody mad. Oh, well, bazinga. It was a light joke. Bazinga, bazinga, bazinga. And since then, Jada has just been talking shit about Will Smith in, in so many different ways. And it didn't just start after that. It's been going on for fucking years. She has done her absolute best to absolutely and entirely humiliate, embarrass, and emasculate Will Smith, a legend. I am legend. It's one of my favorite movies. We're going to go back a little bit. I'm going to give you some context to the situation, and then we're going to get to how bad it's got recently, because this bitch is fucking crazy. Pardon my, uh, pardon my French. I mentioned the word hegemony. That's true. Some people like it whenever I use big words for my brain. Uh, yeah. Also, I want to show you a little bit of a primer image. Check this out from the New York Times. Jada Pinkett Smith is releasing her demons. She hopes you will too. In her new memoir, Worthy, she answers big questions, poses other readers, and sets the record straight on her marriage to Will Smith. She's making a career out of making a fucking ass of herself. Also, she's Jada Pinkett Smith. She's accomplished nothing. How can someone who's accomplished nothing write a fucking book? The relationship between William Smith and Jada Pinky Smith was a sham. It was a scam. Oh my God. Are you telling me two famous people that hooked up a long time ago and had kids, their marriage failed? Oh my God. 50%, over 50% of all marriages end in divorce. And I would like to know what percentage of uh, famous people's marriages end in divorce. Aside from Goldie Hawn and Kurt Russell, my idols never got married, just partners. Now that's beautiful. That's beautiful. They're beautiful people. These people seem like shysters. These people have been pretending to have like the perfect kind of modern California Hollywood family for the last seven years, but they were lying for at least the last seven years because they were never together or even in love. In spite of taking pictures, pretending that they're together and Will Smith slapping Chris Rock and saying, my wife. <sighs> 
I just tried to fart, but it didn't work. I'm gonna shit. There was a damn NBC News exclusive we found out from Jada Pinkett Smith that they have not been together for seven years, since 2017, 2016. I don't just hear it from the horse's mouth, quite literally. Even though they walked the red carpet together, I just don't know, how is they lying? Why are they lying about all this stuff? She's trying to sell a book. And in the book, she described a part of it in an interview saying that Chris Rock even called her to ask her out because he thought that she was getting a divorce because of the Hollywood divorce rumor mill, which apparently was true, even though she said, no, I'm married. I don't understand this. And they talk about how much they love each other, but at the same time, I have never, ever seen any of the behavior that is displayed by these two people uh, behavior that is in a healthy relationship. I would know about healthy relationships. Just kidding. There is maybe the most toxic interview of all time three years ago, the red table thing. Do you remember this? It was a big meme for a while and it looked like Will Smith was passing away inside while Jada was talking about her having an entanglement with their son's friend, August. She was clearing rumors that she didn't have permission to cheat or she didn't need permission to cheat. I don't even know what the fuck is going on, dude. So yeah, Jada hooked up with her son's friend. She was 43 years old, he was 22 years old, and then they met and were together for two years or something, and then he apparently sat down with Will Person. Like, what is going on here? All because they're like life partners. I genuinely have never been able to relate less to anything in my entire life. I need to make this clear. I don't really like Hollywood. I don't like the people who just feel as though they are better than everyone else because they got real lucky and now they have like this voice and message to spread and they have not earned it in any way they have no experience in the real world and they look ridiculous and they just they just peacock around with their giant egos it's the downfall of civilization truly that's what i see most of this stuff as what we are about to watch is ridiculous i actually sat down with will and had a conversation due to the transformation from their marriage to life partnership that they've spoken on several times, and it, you know, not involving romanticism, mm -hmm. he gave me his blessing. I don't know what I'm looking at. The footage is kind of blurry. I'm not trying to be mean or whatever, but I just, all I think about is Half-Life and a fucking, there's a head crab on the back of his head. So this dude, August, devoted himself to her when her and her husband, Will, were if, pretending that they were in love and are life partners. I just don't know what that means. Maybe someone can explain that. Entangling yourself in another person. I think maybe it's time to just call it off. Just break it up. Maybe then you'd be happy? So this guy seems like he's devoted himself to this woman and she just cannot help but do everything she can to emasculate him in interviews to try to sell her book. I just don't get it. Interviews, the red table talk fucking nonsense. It's so strange. She even said recently in regard to the slap that she doesn't have any idea why Will slapped Chris Rock. She said that she wasn't there or was not there and didn't understand because they weren't together at the time. They were sitting together. He said, keep my wife's name. I just don't get it. She said that Chris looked at her, said he meant no harm, and then is still confused why Will slapped him. Dude, I did this. The whole thing is so confusing. She has the power to make me. She always just finds a way to just turn it on Will. And he's not without fault either. I mean, he's a weird dude. He slapped Chris Rock for no reason. And he's like a cuck and stuff, which that's some, some people are into that sort of thing. I really don't understand. I'm an idiot. But she just can't help but not take responsibility for anything or accountability for anything and then just turn it on Will and then talk about it and not in front of him so he cannot defend himself. This all ties into an old video that recently resurfaced, by the way. Cannot believe I just fucking said that out loud. Where she just starts filming him and talking about this red table nonsense. And he says, I would just say, don't start filming me. He just is like, why are you filming me? I would say, don't just start filming me without asking me. Oh my goodness. And then he tries to stop her, but she just keeps on blabbering. And then he says that his presence on social media is his bread and butter and to not just start recording him, which is true. He's like kind of a legend online. I mean, he's got some memes going on. Lately, the memes have been kind of unfair to him, but still, he knows what's up, man. He's, he's Will Smith. If I had a partner in a relationship that I cared about that did this to me, and she was just trying to embarrass me in my own home, what the f but what's the end game? What are you doing? This is just your tri It's like the Johnny Depp Amber Heard shit. It's just people who aren't meant to be together, dude. Who got caught up in therapy and cosmic energy and releasing yourself and being one with 
the universe? And let's check this out. This disgusting article. Jada Pinkett Smith has spoken about her resentment and how she abandoned herself so her husband Will Smith could live his dreams in a new podcast with Stephen Bartlett where she promotes her fucking book. Seems like dude has done as much as possible to make you happy. Even slapping a guy and kind of blacklisting himself in Hollywood for a while and letting you cheat. I don't know if he did or not, you know? Hopefully he did. Hopefully he still is. But she's blaming him and resenting him for being selfish. What the fuck? How evil are these people? Look at this book. What? I kind of like the art, to be honest. It's pretty cool looking. Oh, and by the way, she got the dude she shit talks throughout the entire thing to promote it and celebrate it as well. Will Smith publicly supports Jada Pinkett Smith at book event, calling their relationship brutal. Dude, I would run away. I would be like a cartoon character and just in place running for seconds before I finally build up the traction to zoom forward. Never look back ever again. Save yourself, Will. Do it for us. Save yourself. On top of all this, this woman cannot help but just make the craziest, most bizarre, just unnecessary claims. The last week has been insufferable, to say the least. I think personally that she is incredibly unhappy with her life and who she ended up with, Will, and she's like changing history and retconning shit to make it sound like she was always this person she's wanted to be to sell her memoir, her book. She's now claiming that the relationship that she had with Tupac was a lot more intimate than anyone would have ever expected. A little while ago, she talked about her and Tupac were soulmates. All the while, she has a husband, I think. I'm not sure. Although, she does specify you can have soulmates that aren't sexual or romantic. But to me, I think that's intrinsically against the idea of soulmates. I think you might be schizophrenic is what's happening right now. No offense to people with schizophrenia, by the way. And on top of her saying that her and Tupac were soulmates, but not sexually or romantically, she said that Tupac proposed to her while he was in prison. I don't know how that's even possible or verifiable. And so when he asked me to get married, he was at Rikers. And by the way, there's some people who feel the same as me and probably you and have come up with some evidence that make it seem like Jada might just be lying to make herself look way cooler than she is. Prior to going into Rikers, Tupac already had a girlfriend named Keisha. He proposed to Keisha, her words, in a September 2011 interview. He proposed to Keisha before he even went into prison. They were already engaged. They got married in April. And in the time that he got sentenced and was taken to prison, Keisha actually moved closer to be by him. One of them's lying. And I kind of like Keisha more than I like Jada Pinkett Smith. So yeah, there's a full timeline of events and it looks really bad for Jada. It makes it look like she's a big old fat liar, all right? And also, how come every time I fucking see her, she has hair, but her whole big thing is being a victim of alopecia. What the fuck, dude? How is that even possible? There are people who have alopecia who never get hair ever again. She made her whole personality about having fucking alopecia and the whole Chris Rock thing. What the fuck? Dude, I've seen people with no eyebrows and shit. The least bad case of alopecia I've ever seen. She got fucking hair now. What the fuck? So Tupac already had a girlfriend named Keisha at the time that Jada said that he proposed to her. And they also got married while he was in prison in April of that year, 1995. It's weird that he would propose to her, then also Jada... Then also marry the first girl, though. Kind of strange. Jada and Will first met on the set of The Fresh Prince of Bel-Air. Excellent show, by the way. Love it. My whole childhood. But Will was already married at the time. Will would receive divorce papers from his wife at the time on February 14th, the same day that Tupac went to Rikers. Five days later, Will would call Jada, allegedly, and ask if she was single, which she was, and then they were immediately in a relationship. And that's history. Plus, Jada also flew out to LA to be with Will very fast. So fast that she didn't even get to spend a night in the house that she had just bought. On top of all this, Keisha and Tupac's marriage only lasted 10 months and then was annulled. So this, she looks like such a fucking liar, it's crazy. And after that, he didn't go to Jada, he went to some other lady. Then they moved in together, then they got engaged, and then this new girl was the girl that was with Tupac the night that he died. In fact, around the time Tupac died, even a few days before, Tupac was with Keisha, his annulled wife or whatever the fuck. The only person that wasn't there was Jada. And that was probably because Jada was flying all around just fucking
fucking Will a lot. They were fucking each other a lot. Stuff is hot and sweaty. Although, you know, it's 1995. There could be gaps in the story. I don't know. But this is more proof than I've ever seen. I don't care to dig too deep into it. But it does seem like she is a big old liar. I gotta tell you what, bud. Seems like Jada just doesn't like her life now and is just fantasizing about what could have been because Tupac's a legend and Will is like this weird cuck guy now. So, I don't know. I feel bad for William Smith. Seems like a lot of salt in the wounds, though. She just is just relentlessly mean to this poor guy. So we don't know what's true about Jada anymore. She just seems like she likes to say shit. A perfect example is back to the period of time when Will and Jada were clearly posturing as though they were still together around 2017, 2018. During an appearance on What Would Happen Live with a fella named Andy Cohen, she gets asked some uncomfortable questions and you can see her squirming trying to think of an answer. She gets asked about rumors that her and Will are swingers. She says, I wish. Then she just goes on to lie to the whole audience audience there and just by saying that they love laughing with each other and that's why everything's worked out this long and that they're still hot in their relationship. Lie, 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 lie. So enough of Jada. Let's go to Will. It's mind boggling that he is still with her. What kind of man would ever want? There's got to be something we don't know. She has to be some kind of like demon or has some kind of spell or blackmail or something like that. I have no fucking idea. Why would you ever want to stay with someone that just consistently makes you feel worthless and make you feel like you lack value or things should have been different for them. Will has made it abundantly clear that he loves her and will fight for her. He even stood by her after the entanglement, stood by her after all this just tearing into him around the fucking red table. Despite all the humiliation, embarrassment, and just betrayals from Jada, he refuses to give up on her. Everyone says that she's this great thing, this great genius person. To me, she seems like maybe one of the most socially inept, egomaniacal people that I've ever seen speak and consistently interact online or uh, through Hollywood whatever, or whatever. It's just confusing. Who is this person? Bunch of goofy goobers out there in Hollywood, I tell you what. In conclusion, I'm currently smoking that Jada and Will pack. <laughs> pack watch. Ha ha ha.